June 30th, 2018. Annual Iranian Resistance Meeting at Villepin, north of Paris. Dozens of senior international dignitaries gathered to support the Iranian resistance movement led by NCRI president-elect Maryam Rajavi. Among them, Rudy Giuliani, Newt Gingrich, Bill Richardson, Bernard Kushner, Stephen Harper, Ingrid Betancourt, Seed Ahmad Ghazali, and others. Nobody knew that the 100,000 strong gathering was in the crosshairs of the mullah's terrorism machine for at least a year. On the same day, Belgian authorities foiled the terrorist plot by arresting a hit team in Brussels en route to Villepin with a powerful bomb in the trunk of their car to be placed among the gathering crowd. Another terrorist was arrested at the venue. Mrs. Rajavi was the primary target. The next day, a senior Iranian diplomat in Vienna, Asadullah Asadi, was arrested in Germany while returning to Austria from Luxembourg, where he had personally delivered the explosives to the terrorist agents. Asadi was the intelligence ministry station chief at the regime's Vienna embassy since 2014. Iran's Supreme National Security Council, headed by regime president Hassan Rouhani, decided to carry out this major terrorist operation following a green light from regime supreme leader Ali Khamenei. The plot came after the major nationwide anti-regime uprising in Iran in December 2017 and January 2018 that shook the regime to its foundations. In January 2018, Khamenei had underscored the role of the MEK and its network in leading the uprising. According to recent media reports, an investigation has concluded that the terrorist plot was not an individual initiative, but that of the Iranian regime and its Ministry of Intelligence and Security. Reuters reported on October 9, 2020, that according to a police document, Asadi quote, warned authorities of possible retaliation by unidentified groups if he is found guilty, end of quote. According to segments of a March 12th meeting between Assadi and Belgian authorities obtained by Reuters, Assadi told the police that armed groups in Iraq, Lebanon, Yemen, and Syria, as well as in Iran, were interested in the outcome of his case and would be, quote, watching from the sidelines to see if Belgium would support them or not, end of quote. It is time for the EU to end its silence on such an outrageous threat and hold the Iranian regime accountable for resorting to terrorism in Europe. 